Alright folks, welcome back. I have another quest video on figuring out how much greater is the attraction between charges of positive 2 and negative 2 than attractions between charges of positive 1 and negative 1 if the opposite charges are separated by the same distance. Okay. Well, once again, this is a little bit of a physics problem. Uh, so uh, the first thing that we need to do is look at the elastic energies that are involved here. Uh, it's a fancy, fancy formula that uh, I guess in a way can uh, be uh, easily mistaken as something that's complicated, but um, it's not really that bad. So let's just look at the formula. Okay, The elastic energies is basically the following. We've got a... Uh, oh, I need to change my marker to Y. Uh, the elastic energies is basically equal to the following formula C times uh, which uh, C is the constant for the speed of light C times the parentheses of uh, our first charge uh, times our second charge that's what the Q1 and the Q2 stands for divided by their distance okay now all they're asking us is to figure out how much greater so all that we need to do is to set up a simple proportion okay so basically they're asking us this okay here's positive 2 and here's negative 2 okay and here is positive 1 and here is negative 1 there are these two um, numbers are separated by the same amount of distance as these two numbers are. They're saying they know that this uh, attraction here is greater. They know it is. They're letting you know that they know that this is the greater one. That's not what they want to know. They want to know by what magnitude, by what size, by what scale, you know, in a single bound. <laughs> they want to know which one is actually greater by what magnitude so all that we need to do is really set up a uh, uh, a ratio or I guess some of you if you want to call it a proportion that's what we need to do so uh, what we're going to do is something quite simple actually so just watch um, we're just going to take this formula and write it two times okay so we're going to figure out the elastic energies ooh I don't like that red on there yet uh, we're going to take the elastic energies of positive 2 and negative 2 and we're going to plug them into this formula. Why did I write a 2 there? That's supposed to be a D. Whoa, I'm sorry guys. That's supposed to be a D. A distance. Man, I got ahead of myself. Distance. Okay. Now, maybe I just wrote a curve there I don't know I wasn't paying attention I guess I'm I'm so sorry about that but that's supposed to be distance so the elastic energies formula is the speed of light times the two charges together divided by their distance so sorry about the two there okay just ignore that but that's supposed to be the distance okay anyway let's see what we can plug into this formula okay all right we have C times uh, a positive 2 times a negative 2 divided by some distance. Okay, so if you look again on the, el the elastic energies of positive 1 and negative 1 you'll see that we have something that looks very similar except where the plus 2 and the minus 2 are we have a plus 1 and a negative 1 okay well what we're going to do is we're going to compare the elastic energies of positive 2 and negative 2 over the elastic energies of positive 1 and negative 1 Meaning this, we're going to take this part of the formula, this part right here, and we're going to stick it in the top up here, into a numerator. 
and we're going to take this part here of this one okay and put it in a denominator that's all that we're going to do so let's go ahead and do that all right so we're going to take c times positive uh, times negative is negative 4 which is divided by distance and we're going to then see we got that in the numerator stick this other one which is C times positive 1 and negative 1 which is negative 1 and divide it by its distance now I don't know how good your uh, algebra skills are. I hope they're uh, pretty good considering this uh, stage of chemistry, either in high school or in college, but you know that you can actually cancel out this C with this C. And this denominator can be canceled with this denominator. Now if you notice, that will leave us with only negative 4 in the top and a negative 1 in the bottom. Well, what is negative 4 divided by negative 1? It's a positive 4. So this 4 is telling us this. We know this. We know that the attraction between charges positive 2 and negative 2 is 4 times greater. So the charge between positive 2 and negative 2 is 4 <laughs> I'm going to stress that 4 times greater okay and that's really our answer folks so uh, I mean it's it's quite simple in a way it's just using a uh, an ugly looking formula and you know doing something that we all regretted seeing in high school fractions dividing fractions but um, you know other than that it's it's quite simple now one thing I do want to point out is if uh, if the charges were uh, different um, for example let's say you had a, a positive 6 and a negative 6 okay if you had a positive 6 and a negative 6 and you were to do the same thing that we just did here and compared it to a positive 2 and a negative 2 notice that all that we're doing is we're just multiplying the two charges together and we're getting a negative 36 and we do the same thing here and we get a negative 4 and notice that we're going to take the negative 36 we're going to divide it by the negative 4 and notice that we get the number 9 so if you look at it when the charge is basically uh, you know a multiple more than itself all they're doing is they're taking that multiple and squaring it okay so basically it's a it's a two-fold okay for example if you had a, a positive 10 and a negative 10 and you were comparing that to uh, the positive 2 and the negative 2 notice that uh, here you would get a negative 100 and down here you would get 4 excuse me negative 4 and notice that we would get a positive 25 and the reason why you're getting a positive 25 is uh, 10 is 5 times greater than 2 and they're just squaring that so that's how they're getting those numbers so just remember that it's a two-fold and if you can remember that shortcut that can actually help you but um, you know if the numbers are not nice for example like if you're not dealing with a 1 or a 2 then you definitely would, would want to make sure that you knew how to do the ratio and everything so um, anyway guys I hope that this was helpful I just wanted to point this out so um, like I said if you need to watch it again and uh, slow it down and uh, I'll explain it to you better or uh, if you need to just inbox me and uh, I'll do my best to help you alright guys you have a good one